So this is how you can see the camera from the iPhone on the Apple Watch. So when you get inside your Apple Watch, you can browse all of the apps right here. And if you want to find the camera to control it, just scroll through the available apps to see the camera shutter. Like the icon looks exactly the same as the camera on your iPhone, only with the difference that there is like a arrow pointing to the shutter button, indicating that the Apple Watch doesn't have a built-in camera, only it works as a remote for the iPhone camera. So when you get inside in here, the app is going to open up automatically in here and you can directly see the stuff in the viewfinder. So it works well in the real time and you can just check out the camera in here. So it works well for remote photos. Whenever you want to take a selfie or something, you can use the watch with the timer to take the photo of whatever you wish. So that's how it works. You also have a couple of different settings in here. Like you can choose if the photo is going to be with a timer or with without the timer. You can even switch to the front facing camera if you wish. So that's an option as well. You can also have the flash controls, live photos controls, many options. And after taking a photo, you can also view it to see if you're happy with the image or not. And perhaps you can retake the photo again. So that's how you can use the or see the camera from iPhone to the Apple Watch. I'm pretty sure that there are some third-party camera apps for the Apple Watch as well, but for this, this is perfect. The only downside is that it only works for photos. You cannot really control the videos right here. Actually, you can. I'm sorry about that. So, yeah, not even a downside. So, perfect for it. So, yeah, that's kind of how it works. I really do hope that you found this video helpful. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, because I publish like a lot of videos every day with iPhone tips and tutorials, and you might find some of them helpful. So go ahead and do that, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.